हाई डियर्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल स्वप्ना राज स्टोरी प्लीज लाइक दीडियो इन सब्सक्राइब फॉर गेटिंग द फर्स्ट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ आर वीडियो Let's start. Tian reenacts bills denied assent by Governor Ravi. Most of the bills are related to empowering state government to appoint vice chancellors, withholding assent to bills and returning them without giving reasons not acceptable, says Chief Minister Stalin. The Tamil Nadu Assembly on Saturday in a special session again passed 10 bills for which Governor RN Ravi had earlier withheld assent earlier the assembly adopted a resolution moved by chief minister mk stalin to reconsider and pass the bills the main opposition idmk and the bjp staged a walkout and were not in the house when the resolution was taken up for voting of the 10 bills two were passed by the 15th assembly during the idmk regime and it was under the current assembly and immediately sent to the governor for his assent most of the bills which failed to get the governor's assent are related to amendments in the laws of universities to empower the state government instead of governor who is the chancellor to appoint vice chancellors the governor has kept the bills for a long time and on november 13 2023 without giving reasons returned the bills mentioning i withhold assent the assembly feels that withholding assent and returning them without giving reasons is not acceptable said the chief minister in the constitution article 200 of the constitution says the governor is bound to give assent when a bill returned by the governor for reconsideration is adopted again by the assembly the chief minister said the bills could be reconsidered under rule 143 of the tamil nadu assembly as per rule 143 when a bill which has been passed by the assembly is returned by the governor to the assembly for reconsideration the point or points referred for reconsideration or the amendments recommended by the governor shall be put before the assembly by the speaker and shall be discussed and voted upon in the same manner as amendments to a bill or in such other manner as the speaker may consider most convenient for their consideration by the assembly uttar kashi tunnel rescue authorities plan to drill from top to reach workers Delays in installing the gravel pipe through which the trapped workers can escape have led to heightened tensions. Rescue workers at the collapsed tunnel in Uttarakhand of Uttarakhand started exploring other ways to reach workers, including from the top of the mountain face through which the tunnel is being constructed, officials said on Saturday. The longer 170 meter route from the top running simultaneously with other approaches may take far longer to bore through than the approximately 60 meters of rubble at the southern entrance rescue workers had worked on saturday to install a third auger machine to pierce past this rubble behind which 41 workers are estimated to be trapped however even late into the evening this machine had not started drilling Bhaskar Kulb a former adviser to the prime minister's office deputed to the rescue site put forth a tentative timeline of 4 or 5 days for the workers to get out through any of the approaches happening now Mr Kulb said that experts had met and agreed to drill into the mountain around the tunnel from all sides above from the sides and from the other end of the under construction tunnel in Barkot simultaneously these efforts will play out along with the initial plan to drill into the fallen rubble from the silkyara side the delays in installing the gravel pipe through which the trapped workers can escape have led to heightened tensions between families of the workers their fellow laborers and local authorities new solutions 
Seventh days is not a small time, Mrityanjay Kumar, a day shift worker from Bihar at the tunnel project, complained. There has been no end to this, just one new solution after the other. How many days will they the workers keep eating dry food? OpenAI, the developer of Chetty GPT, Sachs CEO. OpenAI, the company that launched Chetty GPT a year ago, said on Friday that it had dismissed CEO Sam Altman in a shock firing of a central figure in the AI revolution. Mr. Altman became a tech world sensation with the release of Chetty GPT, an artificial intelligence I chatbot. His dismissal caught the tech world by surprise, with rumors rife on social media as to the cause of the sudden sacking. A statement about the firing by OpenAI said that new leadership is needed for the company to move forward. Fellow OpenAI co-founder Greg Brockman was pushed from the company's board in the shake-up and resigned later in the day. I'm super proud of what we've built, but based on today's news, I quit, Mr. Brockman said in a post on X. Kadalundi's shrinking mudflat ecosystem keeps birds away. Kadalundi, a village on the southwest coast in Korikod district of Kerala, had about 8 hectares of nutrient-rich intertidal mudflats in the early 2000s. Today, the expanse of mudflats in the estuary of the Kadalundipura River has reduced to about 1 hectare. This too is gradually being covered with sand, depriving prey to thousands of shorebirds that migrate from colder climes in winter to the village. Researchers point out that if the mud flats are not protected and restored, Kadalundi will vanish from the global map as a prominent destination of migrant shorebirds in a few years. It is the abundance of prey such as polychaetes and crustaceans in the mud flats that attract a wide variety of migrant shorebirds to Kadalundi from places such as Siberia, Ladakh, Mongolia, and Scotland. We have tried to convince the government through memorandums of the importance of protecting the mudflat ecosystem of Kadalundi from other invasive elements such as sandbanks and mangroves. But the response has been passive, said T.R. Atira, C.T. Shifa, and K. Jishnu, who have been studying the ecological changes taking place in the village for the past several years. The mangrove threat. However, efforts are on to popularize ecotourism in the Kadalundi Valikunnu Community Reserve KVCR by widening the expanse of mangroves. The 154 hectare KVCR had less than 50 hectares of mangroves until a few years ago, but these trees that thrive in salt water have proliferated so fast that they currently occupy more than 60 hectares. We are planting four more new species of mangroves as part of strengthening ecotourism in Kadalundi, said P. Shivadasan, KVCR Management Committee Chairperson. The sedimentation of sand on mud flats not only brings down the amount of prey there, but also helps mangroves easily proliferate. The viviparous mangroves of Kadalundi, according to researchers, have been displaying an aggressively invasive behavior. 30 Years of Border Peace and Tranquility Agreement Haryana to move SC against HC ruling on Kota Chandigarh the Haryana government is planning to move the Supreme Court against the Punjab and Haryana High Court's order quashing a law providing 75% reservation in private jobs to local residents. The opposition parties have blamed the BJP-JJP ruling coalition for not pursuing the case strongly in the court. Parumal Muragan wins JCB Prize for Literature. Chenatamil writer Parumal Muragan on Saturday won the JCB Prize for Literature for his novel, 
Fire Bird and English translation of his Tamil novel Island Apache. The award carries a cash prize of 25 lakh rupees. The book, translated by Janni Kannan, has been published at the Penguin. UP government bans use of halal branding on food products. The Uttar Pradesh government on Saturday banned halal certification of food items like dairy products, sugar, savouries, peppermint oil, and edible oil. The State Food Safety and Drug Administration in its order said such labeling is against the Food Safety and Standards Act, 2006. State Food Safety and Drug Administration Commissioner Anita Singh said in the order that halal labeling creates confusion among consumers and is therefore against the principles of the state government's law on maintaining the quality of edible items. It also said such an offense is punishable under law. Violates public trust. Citing relevant sections of the law, the order banned the manufacture, storage, and distribution of all halal certified food products in the state. The development comes after the police registered a case on Friday against a company and some organizations for allegedly exploiting people's religious sentiments to boost sales by providing forged halal certificates. Citing the fur registered at the Hazrat Ganj police station, the state government said in a statement on Saturday that the forged certificates fostered not only social animosity but also violated public trust. Please like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel to stay connected with us. To get the fastest notifications of our interesting videos press the bell icon and on all notifications. Bye bye, see you in the next video.